Meantime, the new Mu variant is now in all states but Nebraska and is popping up here in California. State officials report 348 Mu cases, and most here are just north of us up in Los Angeles County with a few cases here in San Diego. News 8's Abby Alford explains its impact in San Diego County and what we know about the new Mu variant. The Mu variant, which is pronounced Mu, not Mu, is the latest COVID strain infecting San Diegans. And while more studies need to be done to determine its severity, a local infectious disease doctor predicts it will be similar to Delta that has ravaged the country. The COVID-19 strain just keeps on mutating. And that means it's remodeling its kitchen, its dining room, etc., to be able to... Uh, uh, live inside of us and to spread to other people. Well, it may not mutate as fast as other viruses. It's making its way through the Greek alphabet with alpha, beta, gamma, delta, and now mu. And in fact, probably we're going to run out of Greek letters. The mu variant originated in Colombia in January of this year. By mid-June, mu arrived in Los Angeles County, where there are at least 167 cases and makes up nearly half of the state's mu cases. UC San Diego Chief of Infectious Disease and Global Public Health, Dr. Davey Smith, says often if it's in L.A., it's in San Diego, too. We know that it's here. We don't know exactly how prevalent it is, um, but we're getting more and more data from all the new infections that are uh, occurring. San Diego County Health and Human Services reports that there are 24 mu cases since April. There are not enough studies, which is a good thing, to determine its severity, but mu cases are expected to rise. Last month, the World Health Organization put mu on the list of variants of interest so they could study it more to determine if the vaccines give you enough protection against the mu. This variant has a constellation of mutations that suggests that it would evade certain antibodies, not only monoclonal antibodies, but vaccine and convalescent serum induced antibodies. Right now, the CDC reports mu makes up 0.1% of COVID cases in the U.S., while Delta, which is more contagious and more severe for unvaccinated people, accounts for 99% of COVID cases. We're paying attention to it. We take everything like that seriously but we don't consider it an immediate threat right now. Bottom line, doctors say don't use breakthrough infections. Those are people who are fully vaccinated and get infected with COVID as an excuse not to get the shots. Doctors say being fully vaccinated will lessen the severity and the length of your symptoms and will also slow the spread of this virus mutating into a more deadlier strain.